lower back stiffness and discomfort is prevalent amongst tree planters. Following analysis of tree planters' back injuries and observing tree planters in the field, we have identified three main types of lower back issues and the main reasons why these occur. The first and most commonly experienced is generalized lower back stiffness and discomfort, which may refer into the leg. This is associated with repetitive bending. The second we have called tree-sided lower back pain, associated with how plugs are being retrieved from the bag. And the third is what we term shovel-sided lower back pain. There are two important terms to understand when discussing lower back mechanics, flexion and extension. Flexion is associated with a forward bend or rounding of the lower back. This happens frequently throughout a planter's day. Sitting for breakfast, driving to the block, bending the bag up, and bending to plant trees. Extension is a backwards movement seen when arching the spine. This can be done in standing, sitting, or lying, but doesn't occur naturally as part of a planter's day. Discs are the body's shock absorbers. They are made up of a fibrous outer part called the annulus, which holds in place the jelly center called the nucleus. When flexing the spine, the front of the disc is compressed, pushing the nucleus backwards. Extension helps to balance this pressure by pushing the nucleus forwards. You can think of it like a disc pressure bank account. When you bend or flex, you are making withdrawal, and when you do an extension exercise, you are making a deposit. The problem with tree planting is that you are always bending. Here is a quick summary of a tree planter's day. Wake up stiff, bend to get dressed, and sit for breakfast. All flexion. You drive to the block, sometimes asleep and always slouched. You get out and you begin to bag up. You put on bags and start bending to plant. Flexion, flexion, flexion. Then you sit to drive back to camp, eat, sleep, and repeat. When looking to prevent lower back issues, this is what a planter's day should look like. Wake up, roll over and extend. Begin putting deposits into your disc pressure back account. When sitting for breakfast and when driving on the way to the block, try to maintain a lower back arch. This can be done by slouch overcorrect exercises or by placing a pillow or folded sweater into the small of your back. Following any periods of sitting, extensions and standing will help to neutralize disc pressure. Break up bending with frequent extensions. This can be done at the cash when bagging up. Extend, extend, extend. Following driving home, extend. After dinner, extend. Before bed, extend. Eat, extend. Sleep, extend. Plant, extend. Repeat. Now let's look at some key planting tasks and what is bad and what is good. Bagging up. Did you know the weakest part of the disc is at the back corner? This is why we are told not to bend and twist together. Bad. When handling boxes and bagging up, if you bend from the waist with straight legs and twist, you are increasing the risk of disc injury. Good. Did you know a 30% contraction of the abdominal muscles is enough to stabilize the spine and unload the discs, helping to prevent injury? Actively pull in your lower abdominals and contract your pelvic floor as if you are stopping a pee midstream. When bagging up, load trees in a half kneeling or crouch position. Try to maintain an arched lower back when bending forward, keeping abdominal muscles 30% contracted. Use your feet to adjust body position to minimize twisting. Did you know that the average tree bag up is between 45 and 50 pounds and can weigh as much as 65 pounds depending on the moisture content and tree type? Bad. Hoisting bags onto your hips with your legs straight in a bent over position increases disc load. Swinging the bags on using the shoulder straps causes a twisting force and uneven disc loading. Good. Power lifters lift the way they do for a reason. Step into the bags and use a wide stable base. Check your footing. Contract your abdominal muscles. Power with your legs and place the bags onto your hips with your chest out and your back in an arched position. Here is a visual of good and bad techniques.
There are 101 ways to plant a tree. We are not planters and are not going to tell you how to plant a tree. But if you are experiencing back discomfort, here are some possible reasons why. Bad. Planting with straight legs and bending excessively with the spine causes an increase in disc pressure, leading to discomfort and possible injury. Planting downhill causes excessive flexion, which also increases load on the disc. It is better to unlock the knees and bend from the hips, with the abdominals contracted 30%. Don't forget to breathe. Avoid planting downhill by analysing your ground and planning your route. Another problematic technique is when planters plant outside of what we have termed the neutral zone. The neutral zone is the space in front of your feet when standing in a step standing position. Reaching outside of this zone loads the disc in its weakest part. Working within the neutral zone using the lunge or tripod stance with a 30% contraction of the abdominal muscles is optimal. It is seen here in the good and bad. Regardless of how you plant, extensions are an important preventative strategy to neutralize disc pressure and prevent injury. Planters should aim to do a minimum of 10 repetitions at every bag up. Tape is an effective tool to give a planter feedback to maintain a neutral back position when planting. Tape may cause skin irritation. In these cases, an under tape can be used. Tape can be worn for up to four days at a time before the skin needs a break. <laughs> Red flags. Consult a healthcare professional if you experience any of the following. Continued increase in pain, numbness, tingling or pins and needles with extension exercises. Issues with bladder or bowel dysfunction or lower limb weakness. When stiffness, pain or discomfort is not helped by the extension exercises, a planter may be experiencing what we call tree-sided lower back pain. Tree-sided lower back pain occurs secondary to repetitively loading the spine on the tree side. Overbagging up on the tree side is the most common causative factor. We call this the mothership. Reaching for a tree by pushing the hips to the shovel side using a hip sway causes this compression. Planting outside the neutral zone on the tree side further contributes to this compression. Good. Bag up evenly and transfer trees regularly to maintain balance. Try to stay neutral when reaching for trees, avoiding hip sway. Plant inside the neutral zone and maintain a 30% contraction of the abdominal muscles. The third lower back issue is what we call shovel side low back pain. This is associated with an overload of the support structures between the pelvis and the spine. Discomfort is experienced on the shovel side at the top of the buttock. The spine and pelvis are stabilized by a crossover system of muscles between the hip and opposite shoulder. These are the gluteal and opposite latissimus muscles. There are a couple of common technique issues that compromise this stabilizing system. Bad. Allowing the shovel-sided knee to roll inwards means the stabilizing gluteal muscle is not firing. Load is then transferred to the support structures between the pelvis and the spine. This can be seen when bending to plant, walking downhill, or stepping down off blowdown. If bags are either overloaded or placed forward on the hips, this can increase the knee internal rotation. Good. Actively turning out the knee fires the gluteal muscles which stabilizes the support structures. This turned out knee position should be reinforced when bending to plant trees, when walking down hills, or stepping off blowdown. Keeping the bags further back on the hips makes this easier. When on the block, think cowboy. Overreaching on the tree side by either planting outside of the neutral zone or by over twisting through the upper back and shoulder when planting trees causes the latissimus muscle to work in a lengthened inefficient way. Load is then transferred to the support structures on the shovel side of the lower back. Good. Planting inside the neutral zone, bending from the hips and setting the shoulder blade back fires the latissimus muscle which with the gluteal muscle stabilizes the spine. It's a bit shallow. Don't J-root on that stump. That was a leaner over there. <laughs> <laughs>